So can you break it down for people? And I, I was watching something the other night, and I was like, this would be a good thing to talk about. The day of a competition, you kind of hinted on this earlier, mm-hmm. talking about People don't understand, but the day of a competition, really, bodybuilders, male, female, you're really at your weakest because you're dehydrated, really haven't had a lot to eat. There's basically, you look, you guys look phenomenal, but it's it's really hard. Can you go into like the, just how strenuous it is during the day of a show? Yeah, so show day is a crazy day. Um, for the ladies, we usually have, hair and makeup um, oh that's right yeah very very early in the morning so if you've got pre-judging that starts at like 10 or something you could have a hair appointment that's at four in the morning or makeup appointment that's at four or five in the morning so you're up at early Um, typically tanning is done like the day before Um, you don't tan really the day of the show so that's taken care of but yeah you're you're dehydrated because your water's been cut um you're probably hungry because your food is also low but that's been low um, you're hating your food because sometimes it doesn't have any salt in it because <laughs> that helps kind of you know bring a lot of the water out of your body yeah. um and yeah you just the fact of being dehydrated it's it's very exhausting um you know, and you've been training for so long, so traveling, if you have to travel, things like that, are, yeah. they're all in play. So just getting up early, being dehydrated, um, you know, a lot of people think that we lift a lot towards the end of a prep. Usually you're lifting a lot less than you were at the beginning of the prep. Yeah. A lot of times because food and energy has gone down because you've got, you know, you're expending so much on your training and your cardio and things like that. Um, so yeah, you're, you're up early doing hair and makeup. Um, but it's, it's also a lot of downtime too. Okay. So you come back to your hotel room and you're sitting around and hopefully if you've got a Brad type person, they're running to the microwave every couple of hours to heat up your food or make sure you're eating. Got that fits the coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> um, Picture check-ins with coaches go on, you know, sometimes hourly. So you're having to get up, put on your posing suit, go through your poses, which is exhausting. Ooh. Um, Cause you've got to hold those for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's kind of a unique type of feeling. I don't know if anybody has ever posed. Um, it's not easy. Yeah. It's, it's a workout. So you're going through like these mini workouts up until you get to Prejudging, so it's it's a lot going on. Wow, yeah, because I remember I was listening to an episode of I want to say it was Joe Rogan. He had Zack Snyder on, director of the DC movies, and they were apparently Zack Snyder is a big bodybuilding fan. And they were like huh. bodybuilders are at their weakest the day of a show. Is like you know what I'm saying? And I thought about it, I was like, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. And then some people drink. To give themselves more conditioning or something, how that works? Or yeah, take the like a alcohol, shot of vodka or something? Yeah, the alcohol sometimes helps some people. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never done alcohol on the day of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, it just tends to make me sleepy. But for some people, they do that. Some people eat, you know, jelly beans or gummy bears. Or everybody has their thing that they can eat to make their body get to that stage-ready look that you see in the pictures. Um, gotcha but it's it's different. Wow. Want to help the channel remain upstanding and dedicated to the truth? Then consider becoming a channel patron. The link to our Patreon account is in the description below.